Dennis. <laughs> Nipper's competing in the big dog show in the park. You want to enter Nasher too? I dunno, Gran. Dog shows aren't really Nasher's thing. <laughs> There'll be lots of other dogs there. <coughs> nah, he still doesn't fancy it. It's sponsored by Butch Butcher. There's a load of sausages for the winner. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a yes, then. <laughs> Dennis, this is the competitor's entrance. Yeah, so? Well, I hardly think your mouse is fit to compete. <laughs> All this other mongrel. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, check these out. Official entry forms for Nasha and Nipper. <sighs> Honestly, they're letting in any old riff-raff these days. Now that's more like it. Look at Miss Miniwoof. Just the kind of classy dog we want in the show. Uh, uh, hello, Athena. Uh, hello, Miss Miniwoof. <laughs> oh, Walter, can't you get rid of those creatures? Cheek, who do they think they are? Exactly. Oh, come on, Walter. Let us in. I suppose I'll have to. But keep those two away from the other pedigree contestants. We don't want them all catching fleas. Ladies and gentlemen, we come to the talent section of the show to be judged by the mayor, Mrs. Creature, and of course our sponsor, Butch Butcher, purveyor of Beano Town's finest sausages. Please welcome our first competitor, Mrs. Bonzilla Barkington Wagstaff and Los Chihuahuas Bonzilleros. <laughs> right, Nasha and Nipper. Talent? Ooh, let me see. Uh, dirt magnets? <laughs> <laughs> They've got plenty of talent. They're going to wipe the floor with the other dogs. <laughs> Judging by their appearance, it looks as if you've wiped the floor with them. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the way they look. Hmm, well, it's my job to marshal the contestants. Any infringement of the rules by these two, and they'll be out. Los <laughs> Chihuahuas Bancelleros, ladies and gentlemen. They scored nine out of ten for pedigree in the first round. And I'd give them at least eight for originality. Don't you think, Mr Butcher? Oh, um, uh, I think they must have been too small to see. That's what chihuahuas are, Mr Butcher. Very small. No, I mean, uh, I've lost my glasses. No, uh, I had them a minute ago. Good luck, Athena. And you, Miss Miniwoof. I hope you win. And now the height of fashion, Athena Kane and Miss Miniwoof. <clears throat> Very stylish, I think you'll agree. Wow, major talent. They can both walk without falling over. <laughs> Miss Minnie Wolf scored nine for pedigree. I'll uh, I'll give her six for talent. And switch. <laughs> what a Nasha? That's awesome. <laughs> Standing on hind legs. Hmm. I'm not sure that's allowed. Oh, give it a rest, Walter. I'm keeping an eye on you. I loved your act, Athena. Uh, so chic. <laughs> Don't worry, Nasha. We'll show those snooty dog owners a thing or two. <laughs> Say hello to Beano Town's favourite policeman, Sergeant Slipper, and his canine cop, Biter. Biter is a highly trained law enforcement specialist. <laughs> at, uh, at the north end of the field, you will see Constable Coughdrop. 
posing as a dangerous uh, criminal perpetrator type villain. Now, watch as Biter makes the arrest. Go, boy! Apprehend that suspicious person. <laughs> Oh, oh, she's the perpetrator. <laughs> Even you're more obedient than Biter. <laughs> Pedigree was in order, but zero for talent, I think. No, oh, I, 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 I didn't really get a good look. Um, oh. That's because you were facing the wrong way, Mr Butcher. And now our final competitors, Nipper and uh, Nasha. <laughs> They'll probably just be chasing their own tails. <laughs> Good luck, boys. Think of the sausages. <laughs> well, Gran, if you ask me, Nasha and Nipper have the talent show in the bag. Oh, oh my goodness! These beastly creatures might actually win! <sighs> There must be some rule against motorbike riding. Uh, oh, yes. Marvellous idea, Athena. By gosh, I, I do I do believe you're right. That motorised vehicle is exceeding the speed limit. Biter, arrest those lawbreakers. <laughs> This is not good, Gran. Not good at all, Dennis. <gasps> My poor little babies! <laughs> I knew you'd make a mockery of everything. You and your scruffy mutt! Chill out, Walter. It's only a dog show. Yes. Well, all the other dogs have got proper pedigrees. So luckily, you've got no chance of winning. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to present the Best in Show trophy, which has been kindly presented by Mr Butch Butcher. Oh, I wish I had my glasses. Oh. Here they are, Mr. Butcher. Remember, best in show goes to the dog with most points for talent and pedigree. Under consideration are... Police Dog Biter, Los Chihuahuas Bouncy Leros, Nasher and Nipper, and finally, Miss Miniwolf. And the winner is... Miss Miniwolf! <laughs> I knew we would do it, my poochie witchy. Oh! class of dog. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. Uh, now I've found my glasses, I can see the entry form. It says here that Nasha is an Abyssinian wire-haired tripe hound. Really? A tripe hound? The rarest breed of all? Well, that's different. Uh, bring your dog up here, boy. What? Why is that different? If you groomed your dog up occasionally, we would have seen he's a very special breed. Course he's special. He's my best mate. But that dog has no talent. Well, uh, not just your best uh, mate, but also I'm delighted to announce he's the best in show. Hooray! Rage. Come on, sweetie. We don't need this stupid dog show anyway. I don't believe it. This has to be some kind of mistake. Rage up, Masha. Hero. <laughs> He's good. 
good. Ah! Oh, I'll say, what a team! Hey, <laughs> Walter, look what you've done to our ball! Your ball? Look what you've done to our clothes! Yeah, well, whatever, Walter. How dare he? I'll oh, whatever him. Hand me the bumper book of rules, Bertie. Ah, uh, ha! Huh. As I thought. Mr. Bowles, there's an emergency at the football field. Oi! What's this all about? Oh, I was having my lunch. Dennis is blatantly breaking the rules about playing football in the park. You called me down here for that. But it clearly states that when playing soccer in Beano Town Park, Rule 67A, dogs may not play in goal. It's the rules. Rules? This is my park and I make the rules. But... Uh... That, that, this grass is for playing football. So if you're not playing, get off! Well said, Parky. Maybe your lot should play a bit more sport instead of poking your noses into other people's business. I don't know. Come round. Well, I never. Walter, play footy. <laughs> That's a laugh. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not like you know anything about football. <laughs> I know plenty, actually. I could play if I wanted. Yeah, right. Of course you could. <laughs> right. I will. In fact, my team will take on yours next Saturday, right here. OK, you're on. Right. And the rules are, uh, most runs wins. Goals is how it usually works, Walter. <laughs> uh, Walter, uh, we can't play football. I believe it's called soccer. And whatever it takes, we will win. First, we study the enemy. Oh, some save, Nasha! OK, boys, let's take a break. So, what do you reckon, then? Walter's team will be a pushover, won't it? Should be, Curly. But you know Walter. He's always got some sneaky scheme up his sleeve. Well, I may not know much about soccer, but even I can see that Nasha's good. What have you found out? Well, apparently, it is goals, not runs. And the chap who scores most of them is called a striker. So I suppose we need one of them. Anyone for one of Butch Butcher's veggie sausage bites? Don't worry, Dudley. I'll find us a striker. And you've just given me an idea how to solve the Nasher problem, too. <laughs> uh... What are we doing, Walter? I found our striker, the school new boy, David Peckham. Oh, hi, David. Ready for the trial? Uh -huh. oh, that's good enough for us. See you next Saturday. Uh -huh. Right, we've strengthened our attack. Now to weaken their defence. <laughs> All right, boys. Practice makes perfect. When you're ready. What tricks Walter pulls, we can't lose! There you go, Walter. Five dozen super fat sausages, double cooked in fat. Thanks, Mr. Butcher. They look perfect. Uh, you've got enough there to feed a football team. Or at least a goalie. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who, who did that? You were supposed to stop it! <laughs> That's right. Eat up, Nasha. <laughs> Almost caught by Slippery, Nasha. 
Well, I guess you're just getting old. <laughs> Don't worry, boy. I'll always love you, whatever happens. <laughs> uh. Hi, Nasha. Ready for fun? <laughs> Something's not right here. Still a few more days to the match, and by that time, Nash will be the size of a rhino! <laughs> Face facts, Den. He's definitely slowed down. And it's not long to our match with Walter. Curly, we could beat Walter and his mates with our feet tied together. Yeah, but like you said, he might have something sneaky up his sleeve. Don't worry. Nash has still got it, haven't you, boy? Come on, old pal. Do your stuff. Oh, Den, this is bad. Hey, Walter, ready to give up yet? Give up? <laughs> I don't think so. Mind if I have a go? Nasha, wake up! <laughs> Golly, is that a girl? <laughs> Pyface, you're right. This is bad. What is it, boy? Are you feeling ill? <laughs> hey, get off, Soppy. <laughs> that tickles. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. you've been nobbled. Don't worry, Nasha. It's not your fault. Everyone knows you're a sucker for sausages. You go ahead. You could do with some fresh air. I'll uh, <clears throat> catch up with you. Walter, just as I thought. One hundred and four percent fat. Bon appetit, Nasha. <laughs> no, Nasha, you can't. Be strong! <laughs> that, my boy! Now, let's concentrate on getting you fit again. Sneaky. Poor old Nasha couldn't resist. But he's given them up and we've done some intensive training. Wah! So, he's back on form now. Hang on. That's the new kid, David Peckham. I told you Walter would do something sneaky. Ah, uh, Dennis, you've met our new striker, David Peckham. And how's your star goalkeeper? Fine, thanks. In fact, he's as fit as a butcher's sausage. Oh, uh, I mean dog. Oh, yes. Uh, of course. Well, why wouldn't he be? Huh. Still, I bet he's not fit enough for this. Uh. <laughs> Is that all your strikers got? You did it! <laughs> nice try, Walter. But nobody messes with our goalie. What? You knew? Of course I did. Nash is my best friend. Hang on, 
What's this? Sold out? The Rat Bucket concert? It can't be sold out! Not anymore! <laughs> It's sold out. You let them in? But it was sold out, then it wasn't, now it is again. OK. Oh, but it took us weeks to get the money. Yeah, it's hard work washing all those cars. I'm having to dirty them up first. <laughs> come on, I've got a plan. We didn't want to come in anyway. Huh? I thought we did. <laughs> we have come to cook fuzzy rockstar. Oh, straight through on your left. Yeah, result. Oh, am I glad to see you. Right, I need all this food picked up for the after-show party. But I'll let you back in when the concert's over, OK? Oh, through there. Is that Rat Bucket's legendary 25-string guitar? Oh, can I see? Oh. <laughs> Out! And don't come back! OK, not a tunnel, but, uh... Hey, you know the way sheep get everywhere? Well, if we got ourselves some giant sheepskins... Parky's on to us. We need something he can't argue with. Like I say, a sheep. Hello, boys. Look what I've got. Oh, hi, Athena. Two VIP backstage passes. It pays to be Rat Bucket's daughter. Well, if you've got two, who's the other one for? Miss Minnie Wolf, of course. Because she's a special wiggle person who likes her own special wiggle part. <coughs> anyway, must fly. Can't miss a minute. <coughs> See you, boys. One backstage pass, three people and a dog. <gasps> yeah, that'll work. <laughs> wow! So this is backstage. Maybe we'll meet Rat Bucket. Calling feet, calling feet. Turn left. Left pie face. Pie face! <laughs> Leave the food alone! to keep my strength up, Dan. <laughs> You're really heavy. We're trying to get to a concert, remember? Ooh, he looks like someone important. <laughs> Hi. Ah! I'm Athena, my dad's rat bucket. Oh, uh, uh, Hi, Athena. <laughs> ah! No, 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 darling. It's not polite. <laughs> oh, my tummy rumbling. I need to eat. Uh, right. Have a sausage. <laughs> oh, gross! <laughs> Great. Now we're a tall bloke with a dog's head. Huh, very convincing. That. You made it. Whoa, like the new hair. Quick, Nasher, take these! <gasps> Rat Bucket, our local celebrity. Can I have your autograph? Uh, my wife's a great fan. Um, uh, uh, yes, you can. Sure, I'll sign this piece of paper with my left hand. Oh, 
Thank you. Now I need to go to my dressing room to, uh, dress. Wow! This is the real thing. Just... Just a minute. The crowd's been waiting quite a long time, that. I'd like some more food first. Oh, OK. Those pies are nice. You OK, Rat? Your voice sounds a bit... Something for your throat? Uh, more pies would be good. <laughs> oh, we haven't got time for pies, Pie Face. we got to get out of here. Daddy, hi. Hmm? I'm hungry. I need you to buy me some caviar. <laughs> That's not very polite. Just when Daddy's going to give us some money. Aren't you, Daddy? <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Athena's talking. Oh, Daddy, can we go Athena have <laughs> some money? Is it? But you always give me money. <laughs> <gasps> You're not my dad. You're an imposter. Security! Quick, now's our chance. <laughs> You're needed on stage, Rat. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, but I'm the real Rat Bucket. I was delayed, man. Get my daughter Athena. She'll tell you. Huh. She's the one who told us there was an imposter about. <laughs> Real rat bucket. <laughs> I spotted you a mile off, mate. <laughs> You're not tall enough for a start. The band haven't turned up. You're going to have to do a solo gig. Rat bucket! Rat bucket! Bucket, sir. Uh, uh, just caught the imposter. Uh, of course, he didn't have your star quality. That's him, is it? I'll give him a piece of my mind. How dare you? I'm sorry, Mr. Rat Bucket. It was stupid to pretend we were you. Consider yourself lucky I don't sue you. I'll tell you what. If you can get me in, you can be my personal guests for the gig. Oh, there you go, Mr. Rat Bucket, sir. He's even taller than I thought. And then they pelted us with fruit. Oh, I love it when they do that. <laughs> <gasps> now, where's my band? They haven't turned up. Oh, man, they're always doing that. Hey, you don't know anyone who happens to play, do you? Uh, we play, but we're not very good. We know all your albums. Uh, but we can't sing. Yeah, everyone thinks we're rubbish, but we're really loud. Hang on, not very good. Can't sing. Really loud. Sounds perfect. <laughs> Hello, Beano Town! Please welcome Beano Town's loudest band, the Din Makers! <laughs> Thank you. 
Joke shop. Yes, stay away from it. Do something sensible for a change. All right, I'll take Nasha for a nice walk. <laughs> to the joke shop. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Ha Ha. Dennis, good to see you again. You too. So, what's new? Ah, vampire chattery teeth. <laughs> With a difference. <laughs> Added bad breath. <laughs> cool. Oh. oh, hello, Mother. Oh, yes, Mother. No, Mother. Oh, of course, Mother. What's wrong? My mother, she's flying into Beano Town this morning, which means she's going to find out I run a joke shop. So, what's the problem? When she gave me money to set up a business, she thought I was a... vet. If she finds out the truth, I'll have to close down. <gasps> close the shop? No! I'm afraid so. Unless... <gasps> we turn this shop into a vet for the day! You mean... Play a trick on my mother? <laughs> well, well, I mean, that would be... Fun? <laughs> Curly, get Pie Face and get down to Mr Ha Ha's. We've got an emergency. Mother, quick, hide! Mother! Hello, Hardy. Uh, welcome to my practice. Uh, how, how was your journey? The flight was bumpy, the taxi was smelly. This is it? Yes? You don't seem very busy. Uh, I'm expecting my assistant to bring in a patient any second. That's us! Come on, Nasha! Ah, there you are. And who is this little fellow? Uh, uh, Nasha. And what seems to be the problem? Uh, uh, pointy arrowitis. Ah, yes. Pop him on the table. Surely there's no hope. Shouldn't you just put him out of his misery? <laughs> Let's see. A uh, mallet, a clamp. <laughs> Mr. Ha Ha, I think we need an anaesthetic. Let us begin. Uh, Mother, you'd better sit down. Uh, tweezers. Check. Lights. Check. Dramatic music. Check. Then I'm going in. Ooh. That's one. Oh, yeah. And that's there. Oh, oh. oh. Last one. It's going to be tricky. <gasps> Don't lose it now, Doctor. Now to wrap up. There. Right as rain. the treatment, won't he? D oh, yes. Yes, say in a, a week or two. Well done, Hardy. You've saved him. <sighs> <sighs> Psst. We've got a problem, Den. Look outside. <laughs> 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 
Uh, oops. Uh, uh, we're closed. Closed? Oh, do your job, Hardy. Save these poor animals now. Oh, yes, Mother. Um... Telescope. Telesco telescope? Hmm. Uh, he's cross-eyed. Hey! Uh, he's suffering from the uh, concentric pupils. We've got just the thing. I think he might have, uh, um... Uh, low... Low... volume? Low volume... Mm, maximosis! Exactly! Uh, he's lost his voice. Try this, Mr. Ha Ha! Holy <laughs> water, cracker! Holy water, Oh, of course. A uh, thermometer. <laughs> Classic case of nippy rodent syndrome, wouldn't you say, Mr. Ha Ha? Oh, definitely. Yes, a, a very bad chill. No problem. This will warm him up. I'm very proud of you, Hardy. Now, give me a tour of Beano Town so I can show off my clever son. Oh, yes, Mother. Dennis, help! Dr. Ha Ha, what about our vet school? Vet in training! Uh, that's us! Oh, yes, eager to learn. More school? <gasps> Hardy, you've got little apprentices. You're so dedicated. Go. Teach. <clears throat> Oops. And who is this? I'm the local vet, and I've been getting a lot of dissatisfied customers. <gasps> ah. May I suggest, Mr. Ha Ha, that you stick to what you know. Go back to running a joke shop. I can't believe my ears. A joke shop? Can this really be true, Hardy? You run a joke shop? But it's the best shop in town, Mrs. Ha Ha. My favourite. Please don't be angry. Fooling you was my idea. Angry? I'm shocked. Hardy Ha Ha, you always said you wanted to be a vet. Mother, that was when I was five. But can you honestly say that you're happy? Larking about in a joke shop? We're all happy in the shop, Mrs. Ha Ha, aren't we? Oh, oh yes. yes! I suppose if you're happy, that's all that really matters. <laughs> well, don't just stand there gawping. Show me everything! <laughs> Results! Oh, well, if you'd like to come this way, Mother, here we have a drawer full of fake doggy doo doos. <laughs> That's always a winner. Uh, of course, the obligatory wigs, hats, itching powder, whoopee cushions. <laughs> 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 oh, your popularity rock in a bag. Oh, it's a winner. <laughs> oh, dear. God, it's hilarious. Dennis, I thought I told you to stay away from this joke shop. But, Mum... Oh, please don't be too hard on him. Boys will be boys and they all like a joke. And some of these things are quite amusing. <laughs> oh, very amusing, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, there's stuff everywhere. 
What's going on here? <coughs> We're having a spring clean. Oh, good. Then perhaps you can help me find my teapot. I think I left it here last time. All right, Gran. Dennis, you can fill this box with stuff for the charity shop. But it's Saturday. And after that, tidy your room. You too. Go on. Oh. There's stuff here I haven't looked at for ages. Magnifying glass, sunglasses, notebook, old brown coat. <laughs> How to crack crimes and solve mysteries. <laughs> the mystery is why I bought the book in the first place. How to solve mysteries. Cool. There. Oh, now for a sit down and a nice cup of tea. Oh, yes. Did you find my teapot? Well, you can't miss it. It's bright red. Oh, I think I might have put it in the charity box, out the back. What are you up to? Nothing for you to worry about, sweet cheeks. Oh, <laughs> oh where's my teapot? It's a mystery. A mystery, eh? Sounds like a job for Dennis P.I. He what? A private investigator. Here to solve the mystery of the missing teapot. <laughs> this afternoon, I'm supposed to be having tea with a gentleman I haven't seen for 36 years. Oh, and I really need this particular teapot. Well, I'd say there's a good chance your teapot has been swiped, snaffled, stolen! <laughs> Do you have anything that might help us? Pick up the scent. What about this old tea bag? Aha! Perfect. Cop a whiff of that natural pal and she, if you can, sniff out the culprit. <laughs> to the treehouse! <laughs> Who keeps doing that? Right. That's warmed us up. Ready for the Colonel's tea party. Nice work, Nasha. Looks like the trail might end right here. So that's what Nasha was after. Hey, that's my pie. But you can see everything from up here. Pie face, have you seen anyone with a red teapot? What was it like again? You know, like... And red! Oh, yeah. I saw someone with one of those. And what did this person look like? Well, it was a boy with black hair, uh, shorts and a big smile. That can't be right. You're describing me! Ugh, OK. Uh, he had tidy hair, uh, and glasses. Oh, and a bow tie. <laughs> I think we found our thief. Tom ti tom ti tom tom. Tra la! <laughs> Aha! Hand over the teapot, Walter. I have no idea what you're talking about. Come on, I know you've got it. Dennis, hang on. You're going about this all the wrong way. Thank goodness one of you is making sense. <gasps> OK, Teapot Rustler, where's the loot? If you don't tell us, the flower gets it. Right, Nipper? <laughs> teapot? Loot? Oh, I don't understand. Don't play the fool with me. A reliable witness claims to have seen you with my best red teapot. Uh, Gran? Ah, here, boy. <coughs> if it's a teapot you're looking for, Mrs Creature has a vast collection. Ah, <sighs> ah this is the life. Nice and quiet. A pot of tea and no... Doing in school on a Saturday? I might ask you the same question. Teaching doesn't recognise weekends. Is that right? So what can you teach me about this teapot? That? Oh, it's 
nothing. Just a teapot. Hmm. Could be a respray job. Whoopsie. No. OK, OK. It's my second best teapot. That's all. Second best? You have more than one? Sure. I've got lots of teapots. Oh. We're not just looking for any teapot. We're looking for... <coughs> one like this. <coughs> this is not my teapot. No, but that's my steak. Why would anyone keep a steak in a teapot? Oh, it was frozen. I put it in there to thaw out. But if you've lost a teapot, try the Colonel. He's having a big tea party. Thanks, Dollface. But you're not out of the frame until we've found our teapot. So don't even think about doing a runner and leaving town. I mean, thanks, Mrs. Creature. <laughs> oh, yep, sorry, you can't come in here. Go uh, to Colonel's orders. No, Dennis. Oh, come on. Since when did you take orders from the Colonel? Well, ever since he promised me a slap up tea. Dainty sandwiches cut up all nice, cream slice, lemon drizzle cake, and sticky buns with sprinkles. Oh, no, you don't. But I'm an investigator. We're on the same side. Solving mysteries, busting crooks, enforcing the law. No, Dennis. That's the law. And, and, and definitely no dogs. <laughs> Good afternoon, Sergeant. Oh, you do look well today. Oh, why, uh, thank you. Uh, I might say the same about you. <laughs> uh, oh, splendid hat, by the way. Oh. <laughs> I'll be sure to save a bun or three for you, Sergeant. <laughs> Five, four, three, two... <laughs> All that dog of yours sniffed out with some sausages. But no teapot. That's right, no teapot. Then we're all out of clues. Nothing else to do but go back and re-examine the crime scene. So, what about your tea date? Oh, I guess I'll just have to keep him waiting for another 36 years. No way! We have to get to the bottom of this. Wait! Look! The teapot! The teapot! No! Hey, what are you doing? Oh, Gran, I'm really sorry. Oh, it's all right, Dennis. You see, it wasn't the teapot I was after. It was what was inside the teapot. <laughs> Choppers! <laughs> oh, just in time! Here comes my date! Hello, sweet cheeks! Oh, I can recognise that smile a mile away! Butch over, amigo! Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Dennis! Oh, you're a brilliant investigator! Sure has! Sweet cheeks! What happened to my lawn? Well, it all started with a missing teapot. Save it for when you've tidied your room, Dennis. Like I asked you to do this morning. Oh, parents! That's one mystery I'll never solve. I think you got off quite lightly, considering. Let me see now. 
While setting the world speed record for three boys and a dog on one skateboard, you managed to terrify Walter and mess up his sweater. <laughs> flatten Parkyballs' prize roses and turn yourselves into human pin cushions. Sorry, Mum. Well, I've calmed Parky and Walter down and I've offered to wash Walter's sweater, but be more careful in future, OK? Now run along, all of you. Thanks, Mum. And there's some chocolate chip cookies in the kitchen. <laughs> Your mum's so cool, Dennis. She's always standing up for you. Yeah, I bet you've got her something really great for Mother's Day, haven't you? Eh? Mother's Day? I made my mum a vase. Well, more of a pie dish, really. Curly, when is Mother's Day? Tomorrow, of course. Music. I'll write her a Mother's Day song. Let me see. Uh, yeah, Mum. Yeah, 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 Mum. You're so cool. Oh yeah. Uh, you really rule. Any ideas? Uh, na na na. Brilliant. Yeah, Mum. You're so cool. Oh yeah. You really rule. Na, na, na. For goodness' sake, Dennis, you'll wake me up. It at once. So she doesn't like music after all. Back to the drawing board. <gasps> the drawing board? Yeah! Curly, weren't you top of the class in Mrs. Creature's last art test? Well, yes, but. Uh... Hurry it up, Curly! I'm getting a crick in my neck. Won't be much longer, then. You can't hurry art, you know. <laughs> What's that? Get out! Oh, uh. oh. 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 I quite like it. That's because it doesn't look like me. It looks like a pie. It's not my fault. Even Leonardo da Vinci couldn't paint properly if he was being attacked by fleas. Don't give it to me, Mum. We'll have to think of something else. Everything we need for cheesecake or a pie face. Your mum will love it. OK, let's get going. Yeah. Uh, not there. Uh, uh. Oh. Wow! It looks really good, pie face. What now? We have to leave it to set. Put it on the shelves. Dennis! <laughs> ah, there you are. It's supper time, OK? Hmm, <laughs> pity. It would have been the best yet. <laughs> yoo Dennis! Oh, uh, hello, Gran. Hmm, what are you up to? Oh, uh, well... Uh, I was thinking about borrowing some flowers from the Colonel's garden. Forgot a gift for Mother's Day? Yeah. That's bad. Your dad always gets me something nice. So, when Dad was a boy, what would you have liked him to get you? <laughs> well, he was a bit of a menace too, you know. I'd have been happy if he'd just kept out of trouble. Of course! That's it! Gran, you're a genius! There. That'll do the trick. This'll be a Mother's Day Mum will never forget. Good dad. Good mum. There you go, Mum. Happy Mother's Day. Oh! What's this, then? <laughs> oh! Wow! Champions! Oh, thanks, son. 
see what he got me? Oh, he's such a good boy. Yes, he is. Happy Mother's Day, Mum! Tennis! How lovely! I didn't think you'd remember. Of course I did, Mum. And for your present, I'm going to stay out of trouble for a whole day! Well, that would be nice. Dennis, stay out of trouble? I'll believe it when I see it. We'll just stay in my room, OK? I can't get into any trouble there. you what, Nasha. We'll just practice a few skateboard tricks. about Dennis. <laughs> good, good. Tell you what, best of three. You're on. of getting into trouble there. <laughs> this is cool, Nasha. A total trouble-free zone. <laughs> oh, no! The window! <laughs> oh, only just... Hey, Dennis! We're going fishing in the park. Want to come? Yeah! Great idea! A nice, quiet afternoon's fishing in the park, Nasha. I mean, it's not like skateboarding, is it? What could possibly go wrong? Oh, hmm. Everything all right, dear? Still feeling relaxed? Mm, yes. Oh, almost too relaxed. Here goes! Hey, my hat! Hey, must be caught on a root or something. So then he said, "Pardon me, Al. Is that the cat that chewed your new shoes?" <laughs> 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 Mum, how about you, dear? Have you enjoyed your day? Oh, yes. It's been so peaceful and quiet. Well, the day's nearly over, so you'd better brace yourself. Ah, Dennis. I'm guessing this is the end of Mother's Day, then? Yeah. Uh, sorry, Mum. Normal service has been resumed. Dennis. Yes. Now, let's 